update. Hey guys, so I'm starting a new video today. I've got Starbucks and a lemon like cake thing. Um, so today we are going to be dyeing my hair and getting a new haircut. Um, I'm very excited. I'm also a little bit nervous because I don't know how it's gonna look, but I am going to show you guys like my ideas. So I'm gonna pop up some pictures that basically show what it is. So for the haircut I'm going for it this time, I'm going to get little like front bangs like this, but that can also be like moved to the side. I don't know if that makes sense, but here are the pictures, kind of like Sabrina Carpenter inspired. And I also want like front layers in my hair. And then for the color, I'm doing like a bronze kind of lived in like golden blonde. That's what I'm kind of hoping for, but I also don't know how blonde they can get my hair since it is brown and has never really been dyed before. So I'm just like hoping they can get it as close as possible. I've heard the salon that I'm going to is really good. I had one of my friends go and they did like red on her. So it looked really good. And she said they were really nice. So I scheduled an appointment. It was kind of expensive and hopefully I get my money's worth of it. I had to drive like 45 minutes to get here, but it was okay because that allowed me to get Starbucks and right now it is like 2.12 and my appointment is at 2.45. So I'm going to head to the salon now and probably just sit in my car. <laughs> my outfit is really cute today. I'm wearing this sweatshirt, sweater that I got off of Depop. I'm addicted to Depop. Everything is so cute on there. And then I thrifted these jeans from Plato's Closet and they're Calvin Klein, which is so good. That's the outfit of the day. Literally so rainy out and gloomy. So I was a little bit nervous on my way here because it was kind of scary. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> okay, I made it here. Um, definitely missed a turn and had to take the long way around to get here, but it's fine because we're here and we have like 20 minutes until my appointment. So I'm gonna eat my lemon bread. I did a horrible parking job and I'm taking up like two spaces, but there's like no lines. I also don't know how much I'm gonna vlog in there because I'm like really nervous. The social anxiety is starting to happen. I'm getting a little bit nervous, but I'm just gonna suck it up and go in. Hair reveal in three, two, one. All right, so it is the next day. I never showed it like after she like styled it and stuff because it was like dark and like you couldn't really see like the color. I wanted to wait to show you guys. I'm obsessed with the cut of it. The color, I'm like still trying to decide if I love it or not. I definitely like it, still getting used to it, um, but I love the cut of it and like the bangs. I'm obsessed with that part. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out though. In the sun, it's a lot more blonde than like in the shade. All right, that was really bright. I got, so, cause I know, I've like wanted this haircut for so long, but, and you like, you see people with it all the time, but you never actually know what to ask for. So I just showed my hairstylist the pictures that I put in earlier. And I asked for like bangs that could go like this but then also could be like blended in with the side because I didn't want like full on 
things like this like all the time so yeah and honestly they're kind of a bit too long to even wear like that because it's like getting in my eyes but still I still like them and these kind of just like blend in all the way down my hair so I asked for like front layers and then like curtain bang like that could also do this so that's kind of like the front and then she ended up putting some layers in the back too honestly i don't even think they're really that noticeable i don't think they're that noticeable she just did like a few but just to even out from the front to the back um and then for a color i just showed her those pictures i wanted more of like a golden blonde i wanted it to be low maintenance because i don't want to have to spend that much money every couple months um because it kind of was pricey so yeah there's kind of like what my hair is hey guys so it has been it's been about three weeks since i've gotten my hair done which is crazy here it is i just took a shower i'll show you guys what hair let, let me go get them so this is my current plan with my hair so i I'm planning on switching to washing my hair two times a week. Right now I've been doing once a week, but I think my hair needs to be twice a week now. I've been switching off between these Shea Moisture, um, and then I also just got these in the mail and wanted to give them a try. They're the Pureology Professional Color Care Strengthen and Cure, Strength Cure um, Shampoo and Conditioner. These ones, um, so yeah, I used this one today for the first time. I am going to show you guys how I have been styling my hair after a shower. So my bangs honestly are kind of dry now because I ate dinner. So they dry really quick because they're pretty short, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair a little bit so it's a little bit drier and I can brush through it a little bit better. Because I don't like to brush my hair when it's you know fully wet because that is not good for your hair so using this revlon blow dryer okay lied actually i'm gonna put some product in my hair before i dry it so i'm using this hair blow dry perfection and heat protecting cream I'm just sampling it right now, so I'm going to use a little bit of that, about like that much. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my hair. I usually avoid product in my like top half of my head on my scalp because I feel like it weighs the hair down but i'm gonna go ahead and put this in it because it's heat protecting also i'm not a hairstylist or anything like that so if i'm doing something wrong please let me know then i'm gonna use this damage remedy by aveda i'm almost out of this if you have any good like hair oils for um colored hair let me know because i definitely lack moisture when i bleach my hair or just in general if you have any good product recommendations for bleached hair let me know all right we've got that and the last thing i'm going to add is a argan and macadamia oil into my hair i'm gonna use focus on the tip i wish i was someone who could bleach my hair and it still be perfectly healthy but when i bleach my hair it gets even more knotted than it is usually and it becomes really dry and brittle so it breaks easily now that all the product is in it i'm going to show you guys the brushes i use and stuff like that so i have this like tangle teaser ignore how dirty it looks um but i sometimes use this brushing out pretty easy right now a little tip for if your hair gets knotted really easily brush it before the shower i use this for my bangs i will show you later what i do with them
I usually get my hair like I'd say 80% dry I usually leave a little bit not dry um so now we're gonna work on the bangs take out my bangs and we're going to brush them out all right now i'm gonna flip them over my brush like that and we're going to blow dry them they're looking like okay i'm gonna call that good for them they've got some volume they're going back in the direction i like um and then i'm going to take like these neck couple pieces that are behind them and i'm going to use this and blow dry them back like that so they have a little movement to them as well. She's a lover like a pipe bomb. She's got the pink song, glasses, high heels, don't As you can see, they kind of are curling back as well. So that's kind of what I've been doing obviously when she styled it she curled it but I don't have the energy for that so usually I'll just like do those first couple pieces and my bangs because all right so this is one side styled and finished and my bangs styled how I like them so I'm gonna go ahead and do this on this side All right, that is how I style my hair. Um, it's nothing crazy, but I think I like the way my bangs look. Um, so yeah. The back of my hair is not dry yet. <laughs> However, the front is I will pop in pictures of what my hair looks like because it literally looks different in every lighting but yeah i'll pop in pictures of me looking more cute with my hair i don't know i just really like it a lot but i'm trying to keep it healthy so any product recommendations that you guys have let me know yeah i think that's gonna be all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video.